Hello, good morning. So this video I am recording as I prepare for my IELTS academic speaking. So I have a few questions. The first part of the exam is going to be examiner will ask you to introduce about yourself. So you can quickly introduce in few sentences. So hi, this is Rajesh Subramanian. You can call me Rajesh. I come from Pondicherry, otherwise known as Little France of India. I have completed my bachelor's in electrical and electronics engineering and master's in international business. I bring with me 17 years of IT experience and currently work as freelancer in IT. So that was a quick introduction about myself. So after which um, the part two is going to be a cue card round. I mean, maybe they will ask few questions uh, based on your uh, introduction like uh, um, from where are you? Uh, what is the most what is a good thing you like in your uh, town uh, or we can speak about family yeah i have a few questions like how many people are uh, there in your immediate family so i have uh, four members in my family and we like to always be together uh, and uh, spend a quality amount of time who do you get on best within your family I would say it would be tough for me to choose one particular person as uh, I get on good with everyone in my family. So mostly during the weekends we spend time together uh, just uh, speaking out aloud on what had happened over the weekend. So it would be I would choose everyone as, uh, as uh, a, a good get along for me. Do you have a large extended family? Yes, actually we are. We have relatives. I have a lot of relatives uh, that is part of the extended family and uh, also I have uh, good uh, friends so whom are uh, like my family. What do you do together with your uh, family? Well, uh, that is uh, that's always going to be an interesting part. Uh, during weekends we are we would be going outside uh, either to park or uh, have some fun in sport so we spend time together discussing all the pros and cons that happened in the week and uh, how, how to plan along for the next week why is family important to you well I uh, family is something which uh, helps us to motivate rejuvenate and uh, come along in life so it's a moral support it's a motivation for everyone as everyone it's same for me so family is definitely one of uh, is not one of so family is definitely important for me what kind of house housework do you often use do you often do well I've been always helping my mother since my childhood uh, so now uh, I help my wife with uh, cleaning the utensils or sometime cleaning the house during weekends so these are some of uh, works which I to which I help my family yeah so that was the second part so the second part we can we should uh, not second part the continuation of the first part so we can speak in one sentence so one or just two sentences, not too long but here comes the next part so the part two is um, yeah part two is the long term which means cue card round so they would the uh, examiner would give you a uh, a card with uh, cues for example spontaneously i'm just picking uh, picking one thing so that tomorrow it would be a practice it would be a practice for me for tomorrow's exam <coughs> and i should be slowing down you know that i speak too long and uh, speaking too fast has a possibility of making mistakes so there's nothing wrong if we speak slow if we slow down just that we have to speak consistently and fluently okay the question is <coughs> Describe a time when you were really proud of yourself. Okay, so that is the question. The cue cards are talk about a hobby that you enjoy. Tell me about a place that you have visited that you really liked. Okay. So I have been always uh, proud of myself. I feel that uh, whatever life has given me, whatever I am undergoing, uh, is uh, blessings from universe and I am always um, happy about it and I, 
I have gratitude uh, towards universe. Uh, so I have always wanted to learn uh, swimming from my childhood, but due to financial uh, uh, financial difficulty, I was not able to do that. But after I came to work, I was uh, able to achieve that. So I felt really proud when I learned swimming in five days. So that's the time morning 5:30 I got up and I there was a there was a a swimming complex near uh, my my home. So I utilized that I I used to go there every morning just and learn uh, swimming. So in five days I learned and after that um, I was able to practice continuously for almost 15 years now. And um, the places I really like is uh, the swim bath, the swimming pool. The swimming pool is a place which I really like. And uh, I have always had uh, fun being there and I, it makes me relaxed. So after a week of stress or uh, after a day of stress, when we go to swimming pool for an hour or so every day, it really gives us more energy and the power to run for the next day. So that is one of uh, one of my hobbies which I really feel proud of. So as you cover the cues and you speak, examiner will stop and uh, if if she or she has got sufficient points from you, then they will start stop. The part three is going to be a discussion. It is detailed. Like part one, you have to answer, but uh, you should not be answering like part two so detailedly, but not short like part one. It should, it should be somewhere middle, so we can give some examples here that would really fill in. For example, what are the advantages and disadvantages of taking up a new hobby? Well, uh, the primary advantage and disadvantage I would uh, the primary advantage of uh, taking up a hobby will be that uh, you would be upskilling yourself, you will be learning a new skill. But uh, at the same time, there are few disadvantages. The primary disadvantage I feel is uh, you have to that we need to tweak our um, the regular cycle. We would be in a in a different cycle till then. When we have a hobby, it all, it changes our. Uh, daily routine for example when i joined uh, swimming i had to get up at 5 30 which was not my regular cycle so my so that i had to take an up so i feel that is uh, one of the primary disadvantage of taking up a new hobby next question do you think people should return to their hometown after finishing school or university well definitely hometown is one of uh, the favorite where a person can feel relaxed and where he has a, he has been brought and brought up there and he has a lot of uh, memories and also to do activities there so definitely hometown is um, must for everyone to return after schooling or uh, schooling or university the only reason they might be out of their hometown for schooling is due to lack of uh, facilities for example in my hometown Many people go out of this area to a nearby place for reading, for uh, finishing their UG and PG. But after finishing there, uh, they return back here and they just settle down here and enjoy. The next question, what are the benefits of living in big city? Will big city have more uh, facilities like uh, medical, education, recreation etc so living in a big city will definitely open up more opportunities for uh, everyone in in my example i live in a small city where we don't have much of facilities but when i moved to a big city for my career i was able to explore a lot i was able to meet new persons so which was not available in my city so definitely moving to a new city big cities will boost up your careers help in increasing the skill set meeting new people and making connections okay i think i've done fairly better so let me see so this is the uh, this is the speaking part and uh, i was uh, undergoing training uh, through one person in pondicherry from Tribute Institute. His name is uh, Mr. Gopi. So I would like to thank him in this video. So
so i'll uh, finish up my speaking tomorrow and i will let you know guys what happened okay until then take care all the best for those who are preparing for ielts take care bye